Signing up for and using EDEP to submit a determination of applicability form to MassDEP. Why use EDEP to submit your determination of applicability or DOA to MassDEP? First, it's easy to use. Just create an account, complete the simple submittal platform, and upload your completed form and attachments. You also save postage and paper on copies otherwise required to be mailed to MassDEP's regional office. It's easy to ensure that MassDEP's copy is submitted the same day as the applicant's copy is issued. Note, the EDEP platform is not used to issue the DOA to the applicant or owner if different. A hard copy must be mailed or hand delivered to them. Signing up for an EDEP account as a Conservation Commission member or conservation staff. First, you'll need to sign up as a new user. Go to the EDEP website and click on the New User button. Information on EDEP help and contacts is shown below. Setting up your EDEP account. Complete the user registration process. Fill out personal information. Fill out the login information. Enter an email address. If possible, use generic information so the account may be used by all Conservation Commission staff and commissioners, such as concom at town.org. Next, choose a username. It needs to be at least five characters, but with no spaces. It can be the email address. Again, try to pick a general username like townCC or the generic email address. Next, pick a nickname that's different from your username. For example, concom 2023. Next, select your password. It must be at least eight characters with letters and numbers. Finally, choose your security questions for your account. Setting up your EDEP account. Optional additional step for preparing and submitting orders of conditions and orders of resource area delineations. If you want to use EDEP to create ORADs and OOCs, you have to take one additional step. Conservation staff and commissioners must apply for proof of identity to access the order of conditions and order of resource area delineation forms. This step is not required for submitting determinations of applicability through the EDEP submittal platform. You can do that additional step at any time in the future. Ask your regional circuit writer if you need assistance. Once you've completed the registration process, you'll receive an email confirming your account. Submitting a determination of applicability or DOA to MassDEP. First, fill out the determination of applicability form in Word or the fillable PDF formats. The forms can be found on the mass.gov website. The DOA instructions can also be found on the mass.gov website. You will be uploading your completed and signed DOA to EDEP, so this is a critical first step. When you're ready to submit your DOA, sign in to your EDEP account. If you forgot your username or password or need other help logging in, click on the Reset Password or Get Login links. Once you've signed in to your EDEP account, click on the Forms and then select Wetlands from the drop-down menu. Then select Submittal Platform for WPA2 DOA. Then select Next. This brings you to the DOA Transmittal Platform. Fill out the project location and applicant. If the applicant's address is the same as the project location and or the owner is the same as the applicant, you can auto-populate these sections by clicking on the blue bar. 
How to use the view map function to insert the longitude and latitude. You can use this easy feature by clicking on the view map button, which will open another window. If your pop-up blocker is on, hold the control button when you click the button. Click on the project location on the map and then click the put lat long in form, then click OK. Use the drop down to choose the determination type, positive, negative, or both. Then choose which determinations apply. Then click error check and next. Once you've completed this step, click next again to proceed to the attach files section. Select yes, I will attach or mail additional files. Select Choose File to browse your computer for a fully completed and signed WPA Form 2. Enter a description of the file to be uploaded, then click Confirm to proceed. Confirm your file is attached. You'll know you were successful if your attachment is listed under Confirmed Attachments or Mailings. Attach more files as needed. Make sure to click Confirm to upload each document. When you're done, click Next to proceed. Signing the submittal form. Click the signature box, type in your name because you're the one submitting the form, then click I Accept. Note, Conservation Commission members do not need to sign the submittal platform. They sign the DOA, Form 2. If the Commission provides wet signatures, you'll need to scan the signed DOA. When you're ready to move on, click Next to submit. Reconfirm that you uploaded the DOA form. Then confirm your email address is correct and hit Submit. If you did not upload the DOA form, go back to Attach Files. Please note, the DOA will not be considered issued to the applicant or owner via EDEP, even if you type their email address on this page. WPA Form 2 and any special conditions must be issued to the applicant and owner, if not the applicant, via hand delivery or certified mail return receipt requested. Once you hit Submit, EDEP will confirm submittal of the platform. You can also confirm that you uploaded the DOA form. You will receive an email confirming your submittal to MassDEP. Print this for your file. You can print or save the receipt of the transaction. Important notes, you cannot make any changes or upload any additional documents once you hit the submit button. If you forgot to upload the DOA form, you must mail it to the MassDEP regional office. If you made an error on the DOA form that you uploaded, you will need to correct it and mail the corrected copy to the MassDEP regional office. You can find your regional office at the link below. If you made an error on the EDEP submittal platform, contact your regional circuit writer for assistance. For more information, please contact your regional circuit writer. Thank you for listening.